Hello, 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 and welcome everybody to the monthly menopause support group council of experts round table this month this month of course happy new year everyone this month we're going to talk all about resolutions and and how to stay healthy for 2021 so let's go around and let everybody introduce themselves and first of all my name is tina mcdermott i am a wellness speaker and weight loss coach and i'm calling in from Bowie, maryland let's go on over to angel and angel where are you calling in from my name is Angel. I'm calling from Seattle, Washington. I am uh, your creativity expert. I am a master acrylics uh, artist and uh, illustrator and musician. Yay. And comedian. And comedian. Cannot forget that. Cannot forget she's a comedian. Absolutely. Julie, Julie, talk to us. Hey, happy new year, everyone. Julie Zolfo calling in from Bend, Oregon, and I am your life improvement specialist. I love working with women who wine and are struggling and I kind of move them into winning and thriving. So I'm excited to be here and kick off 2021. Fantastic, Julie. Fantastic. We all want to not whine and we all want to thrive. What about you, Nadia? Where are you calling in from today? You have to unmute yourself, my love. Hi, I'm Nadia and I'm from New York today and uh, I'm helping women with the intimate health. I'm a sex coach and as well, uh, intimate muscle instructor. It's a little bit different than pelvic floor instructors. I'm literally helping women how to gain their sexual confidence in certain period of their life and helping them with the intimate health for health and pleasure benefit. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Kat, where are you calling in from today? Today and for the next couple of months, I am here in Todos Santos in Baja, Southern Baja, right near Cabo San Lucas. And it's beautiful here. And when I'm not here, which I plan to be for quite a lot, um, quite frequently, um, I am from Boulder, Colorado. I have a 90 day health and hormone fix program that takes the 35 plus years of diet, nutrition and health science that I have gathered together to help women improve their hormones, balance their hormones, and improve their health and lose weight all in one package. Well, Kat, I think we all want to come down there to, to where are you, Baja, and uh, enjoy that weather and that ocean. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Thank you so much. Well, welcome everybody. And let's go around and let's see how can we help these women make 2021 the most amazing year of their lives? How are we going to help them start off this year? Who wants to go first? Just unmute yourself and let's go. Boom. I took it. Go, go Angel. Um, I, I just want to say, what, whatever your um, uh, goals are for this year, the, the two that I have for myself, because I'm, I'm not gonna set myself up for failure by saying I'm gonna work out two hours a day and I've already blown that in uh, the first day. So that was one, um, but cre um, kindness and excitement. Anything I do, I'm gonna have kindness mainly for myself um, and also excitement and what, whatever I do, whatever strides I make, whatever big or small thing I do, I'm going to envelope myself in kindness and be just the biggest cheerleader for myself that I can be. And which will just help me sp spread that elsewhere. Celebrating even tiny, tiny little goals is such a great uh, uh, motivator to move on to the next step of whatever your goal is and excitement. I think it's really, really important to be really excited. Um, even if you don't know what an end goal is, just being excited about the idea of something makes makes you do better at it. So really those are my two kindness, especially for myself. And I'm also excitement in dishwashing, anything, anything I'm gonna do. <laughs> so we've got kindness and excitement, right? Yeah, yeah. And so what are you excited about? I am excited about, um, well, there are th a couple of things, uh, uh, personal things that I've wanted to do. I, I teach people how to paint. I don't have taped versions. I do it live. I, I'm an improv comic. So I just, I've given myself the message that I'm better in front of people than I am 
just in front of a camera and that has blocked me from doing it. Um, so I'm just, I'm just going to get excited about the process and I'm also going to get excited about really messing it up. I, I, and once I told myself I'm excited about messing it up, all of a sudden that sounds enjoyable. And uh, now I want to try it. And, and so that's how I have unblocked myself from the, the, the goal that I dreaded. Why have a goal that you dread? Wow. But now, now that I'm just going to be excited about messing up, I, I can just do it without fear of uh, death or, or other bad things that would happen if <laughs> I don't know what message is like. That, that's basically it. Make sense? I wrote it down. Joy about messing up. Being okay about messing up and it brings you joy. That's fantastic. Yes. Yes. That's fantastic. Let's move on over yes. to, I've got to go back to Mexico here. <laughs> or is that Baja, California? I don't know, Kat. Where'd you say you were from? You're on mute, girl. Unmute yourself. Kat, unmute yourself. Hang on, my clicking button wasn't working. It's um, okay to mess up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's considered. It's called Baja California, but it's Mexico. Oh, well, there you go. Way down there, at the very end. Okay. Um, you know, one of the things that I have um, had better success with than starting every January first with a list of resolutions is to kind of keep a list of ongoing resolutions or goals all through the year. You don't have to have one date. Um, to start, you know, it can be a Monday or it can be the first of the month or it can be a Saturday or whatever day you pick that you mentally say, okay, this is the day I'm going to start something new. It doesn't matter. And you can always build on those things too. So the biggest thing that I think um, people get overwhelmed, they set these huge lofty goals. I'm going to lose 50 pounds and I'm going to um, have the body of a fitness model and, you know, I, and it's just so, so crazy and you don't need to do that. Take baby steps, be realistic, say, I'm going to try to work out three times a week this, this year or this month, or even this week, you know, you don't have to have this huge long stretch of time. Um, I, I do that when I'm running. I not, I'm not really a big fan of running. So I'll pick out a tree, you know, I'll be running if I'm running on the beach here, um, I'll pick out a tree or a house and say, okay, I can run to that house. And then when you get to that house, and this is how your goal should be too, when you get to that goal, then, oh, I'm going to go a little further now. So, you know, take the baby steps, say, okay, I'm going to start avoiding sugar now. And, you know, you start getting into that habit and keep that habit going. And then when you reach that milestone where you feel like, okay, now I feel like this is a good habit. It's under my belt. Then you can take it a step further and, you know, pick another goal that's easy and attainable. And then from there you keep building. It's almost like stair steps where you just keep on going up and you make it easy. I'm all about easy. And that's the way to do it because easy is sustainable, right, Kat? You know, and, and this is what I heard, easy goals and start when you're ready, not just because the clock ticked. Is that what I heard? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Awesome. Thank you for that awesome information. Nadia, what's going on in New York City? Oh, New York City is really sad. It's like, if you look it through my windows, no people. Everybody, I think, just living every day. But look, I'm here, so and I have my women who is wants to be confident, happy, and sexy. So that's good news because during COVID, uh, it was a little bit difficult because people just didn't show up. And um, actually, it did help me to create my online program for feminine revival. That is awesome, great, and. I didn't make a huge list of resolution, like huge goals for 2021, because like I did it for 2020 and half of them didn't happen. But I decided in my list, I want to do every day just something for my pleasure, for my health and for my work. So my pleasure, it's um, little pleasures, you know, like if I have a big pleasure, that's good. But little pleasures, anything I do, I want to enjoy of that, no matter I do like dishes or running or writing or listening music or just sit down on my couch and do nothing. This is also pleasure. For my house, I started a year, no, I finished 2020 with a detox. I did it two, two weeks detox and I realized 
how many how, how many toxins we do have in the body and like for the whole woman i say the diet was quite strict and for four days i didn't eat anything except clay i would have been drinking four times a day clay c l y a i think clay it's like a special powder and i can tell my day uh blowing disappear completely and i remember Cutting was um, telling us no, no diary, no, no sugar. And that was actually in the detox program. And uh, that's really, really does work. So for the whole women in this group, when there's bloating, bloating, detox is really, really good. Like just be careful what you're eating. So what I say, pleasure, uh, well, three, three things. I say. And the, the, the other thing, my work, I want to help as much as I can women to feel happy and confident because what I saw for five years of my work working with women it's a lot of a lot of misunderstanding about their body about their sexuality sensuality and a lot of a lot of um confidence and when woman is unconfident she create this kind of not a really positive energy surround her so she radiated this that she's not happy with herself and i think i will try what i've already been doing just help like every day every woman i've been working with and i will just to give her a little bit confidence about herself and about her body i think for this year it will be if i can achieve this i will be very very happy and of course if something else will come in every day i will do more than i can got it so what i heard from what i heard from you nadia is that every day you're going to do simple pleasures for yourself for your health and for your work right and yeah, that's yeah. the advice for everybody out there do simple tiny little pleasures for yourself for your health and for your work every single day. That's fantastic, Nadia. Thank you so much. Julie, what kind of advice do you have for our people? Our wonderful oh, this is awesome. Thank you, everyone. I'm kind of thinking how I can add to everyone's um, already wonderful suggestions. And uh, I have like three quick things I want to share. One, the concept of what you put your attention on grows stronger in your life. So like Angel is saying about being happy and Catherine was talking about, you know, doing the simple things and Nadia is about just if I just did this one thing, right? What we put our attention on grows stronger. So one of the things that I've been doing for the last 10 years is every year I do a process called the passion test. And what it does is it helps me get really clear about the top five things that when I'm living my life every day, is this bringing me closer to or further away from the things that really matter most? And the reason I love doing this and teaching people this process is yeses become very easy and so do noes. So, you know, on my top five list, I have collaborate with transformational leaders around the world. Well, each one of you are all about helping other people transform, right? So I do that con consistently. S spending time in nature and with God daily, um, having fun in everything I do, um, creating priceless memories with my family and friends. And last but not least, and most important in this group is really supporting people to live a fearless and fun life. And at the bottom of that list, as the day is going on, I actually have the words that say this or something better. Right, so this keeps me on my north, right? It's my, it's my compass, it's my north node. So if I've been working all day and all of a sudden I see the sun setting, I'm like, oh my gosh, did I go outside and spend time with nature? Like, I just love this list. And so the good thing is Angel and I on Sunday are actually hosting a mini passion test workshop. So if you would like to create your list, Right. So you can have those things that you want to focus on and what you, you know, you put your attention on grows stronger. Come join Angel and I. She'll be the comic. I'll be the, the trainer there. Right. And get really clear on your top five. It's going to be this Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Coast time. But that's really this. I've been doing this practice, Tina, in the group for 10 years. And it's just such a powerful thing for me to do every single year to make sure that my compass and my choices and my actions are moving in the direction of what makes my heart happy. Girl, I need to make one of those cards. I'm coming to the passion test this Sunday. How can everyone join your passion test? So if class? you go in, yeah, if you go into the menopause um, group, there's actually okay. on the top, there's the menu that says discussion and announcements. There's the one that says events. 
Oh, and if you go okay. to the events, it's actually in there. Ignite, ignite your life in 2021. No, and so, you have to be in the VIP group or just the regular group, any group can to join. It's in both. So in the VIP group, um, there's also a link in there and I'll repost that today. And in okay. the support group, it's actually in the event section. Is there a link that we can put in this post here that, uh, to yeah, give to everybody? I'll, I'll add it in there and, and we can continue talking. I'll get the link and let you know it's there. Yeah, do that. Do that because I need I need to do this too. And so does, I think everyone, this would be great. So we could all have our little index card that says, hey, did I get some sunshine today? Right? Did I do what, did, am I fulfilling my purpose for the day? My life purpose? That's what I'm hearing from you, right, Julie? Yep. Like, did yeah, I so, do? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I don't know see the chat tina but maybe if you're hosting it if you can click open your chat yeah maybe if you can see it then in there on the screen i don't know if that's showing yeah uh, it's a facebook event and when we post yep. um when we post this we will post that right there in the facebook Perfect. when we're posting thank you so, so much absolutely awesome. i think everyone needs to do this let's just get it out get the word out there and fulfill your passions in life and like julie every day she needs to get out in nature she needs to do things that are supportive and fun and interactive with the people in this world and what else did you say um memories create memories right create memories fantastic just gorgeous stuff and these are things ladies that we want to help you live amazing lives and look at these gorgeous faces in front of you here uh, we're all here to help you because you deserve it we all deserve to live in joy let me tell you a little bit about myself and just a quick 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 thing um i've been teaching uh, weight loss and i'm a wellness speaker i do cooking classes in my kitchen i'm starting a youtube channel but you know quick tips for you breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, breathe. Long, deep breaths. Sometimes we forget. We shallow breathe and we get anxious. We get tired. And then we have a whole long list of things that we need to do. They'll all get done. Just breathe. That's all I'm going to say for today. To hell with all the resolutions. Just breathe. All right, let's open up the floor. Everybody, unmute yourselves and let's have a discussion. What else do we need to do? What else can we do to help these women live amazing lives for 2021? Hey, Tina, can I, I want to um, just speak up that, um, so in the menopause support group on December 30th, I did this post that said, you know, if you can take a magic pill and it can change one thing in your life, what would that one thing be? And you can see behind me, I was actually like doing a little demonstration earlier this morning. Let me pull this closer. Hold on a second. Yeah. Um, wait a second. So real what was trending the most what was so interesting about what we what we as experts when we're in there we see this all the time but really what these women said if i had a magic pill and it can change in 2021 the number one thing over and over again and i had over 400 responses um weight wow. loss was the biggest one for them so again just reminding them that you know here we have tina and kat these are women who are in weight loss and your hormones because that's such a big thing about our, you know, what gets in the way of us losing weight, right? Um, number two was anxiety. So many of the women just saying about their mood spring, mood swings, depression, anxiety. Oh. So again, another thing that we as experts, you know, I understand and creativity, what a wonderful way to release those emotions sex right so many women aren't having sex because they're not feeling good about themselves self-esteem right so nadia has these great courses for women to really help kind of combine the two of anxiety and self-esteem then there was about relationships whether it's not having really good girlfriends or just the relationships that they're in are pretty toxic and not very supportive and then career and life which kind of that's a lot of what i focus on people in transition and life and passions and where what do you really want in your life but i think as experts if we can remember um this was a really good sample and i think i've been here a year and a half and this continues to be kind of what i see continually tr you know trending so again you know having more fun being on top of your health you know paying i think like you said tina i love like 
take a moment and breathe. Like that's so good just for the anxiety, right? For our weight, you know, so many things of just remembering to breathe. So I wanted to share this list because I think I know that I want to continue to speak into these things because that's what we're all here for, right? To nurture and support and offer solutions for these women on these type of topics and so much more. That's what we're all here for. That's why we do this, Julie, because it's in our hearts, it's our passion to help support everyone. So they live amazing lives. And, and all of those topics are covered with all of our experts. So feel free, reach out, get into the VIP group where there's a lot more free stuff. Um, join the class this Sunday with the amazing comedian Angel and the amazing life changer, Julie. Um, yeah, so what else, girls? What else do we have? I just want to, I just want to throw in there, looking at your list, the first thing that went to my head was everybody on our council um, can touch at least one of these, if not more. And I, and I, and it's one thing to post in the, in the page, I am suffering with this, who else is suffering, but reach out to us directly and, and ask us for things and we will answer it publicly. Because if you have a question, there's a good chance there are thousands of other women that want to know the same thing. You're not alone. And um, we're here, we're resources, but we work a lot better. If you say, this is, this is a thing I need, we will help get you to the thing. And we will help get all of us to the, to the thing. We are a tribe, we are a family, and um, let's, let's be more proactive about um, uh, helping each other and helping ourselves, not just, this is a thing I'm going through, but what can I do? Yeah, and, and you said that um, you would answer uh, publicly. However, if there's people who want help privately, oh, absolutely, that absolutely. as well. So I just want to make mean, sure. That oh yeah, that, that would be a thing. But then it's also okay. something that we now know to address in the- Exactly. Yeah. You no, know, and I think that's a good thing to remind the women here that, you know, there's a lot of people that give advice and recommendations, but Gwen chose us to go in and personally like, put in messages to people. And we as council members, like I know with the women with self-esteem and anxiety and career, I actually said, jump on a call with me like really trust that we're here to help you. And I know everyone in this group has the same open invitation, like to just jump on a discovery call, jump on a conversation so we can really hear personally, you know, your situation and offer some solutions. So when you see an invitation from us to jump on a call, like really know we've been vetted, we, we're, we're invested in your happiness and your, and your success, and we wanna help you take action. Like Angel said, it's, it's one thing to post, but if you want to make a change, you got to do something that, and change it, right? And so we're really here not to have you do it alone, but to hold your hand if we need to, to help you get to that next place. I couldn't have said it better, Julie. Couldn't have said it better. Reach out, reach out, and we're here to help when you need the help, if you need the help, if you want the help. And that's the thing, you have to want the help. All right. Any words from Kat or Nadia? Yeah. And I, I mean, you in the group, like I'm just a couple months, but what I noticed, the women are very open and very honest about their grief, about their problems, about the issue. They really like seeking for them. They want to share and they want to have answers as well. And I see that the group is like very, a lot of communication. Women exchange their advices, the solutions, and uh, some, um, how we say like that, uh, if someone need a kind, just a nice, uh, kind of gratitude words, it's, it's, it's amazing, it's beautiful. Like, like they say, like that's all the sister, the women, like women energy is the, definitely very, very powerful in our groups. But I thought like that's a lot of kind of sadness coming through. And I think like that what we can create all together, like this woman energy that we're going to share a lot, a lot of positive, great things like that. I did that and it does help me try that. That like not only kind of advices, like sharing like that's like that's bragging a little bit that you can do that. I did that. And because it's really, I mean, I'm reading the post, but I see a lot like from my uh, perspective, a lot of, a lot of, um, <laughs> a lot of the clients um, call they're calling you already <laughs> they're yeah, dialing I in <laughs> no, and it's like that to me that's what my my kind of message is like i already say like as i did like last week like a live talk that's 
let's kind of create some, not marathon, like that's something like we did like, okay, let's try this week, something like very small and let them, let's do it. And after let's sharing what the result you get it. Like little things, like because we do sharing, that's what I love it, women really sharing about their achievement. And of course, a lot about um, negativity, but this is a group all about, yeah, women. We, we love to, to, to talk to each other. We're so, here to right, raise you up, aren't we? We're here to raise you up, raise you up. That's it, that's it, everybody, raise everybody up. Any final words, Kat? Hold on, I want to build on what Julie said. Um, because all of us have some type of program business. And I think a lot of times people are afraid to approach us. I am not going to charge unless you want to buy into the program. I'm not going to push it on you. But on the other hand, I have tons and tons of knowledge and research in this area of health and hormones and mindset also. And it helps your emotions and it helps so many different parts of your body. Um, and I don't want people to be afraid to ask questions because I am happy to give and share as much as I can without getting overly specific because sometimes I have to have more medical background and things um, to really get specific, but I am happy to share. I don't want people to feel like they can't approach me, that I'm going to push a program on them. I just want to share my knowledge and help people because I've been there and it's difficult. You don't know who to go to. You don't know what to ask. You don't know what you need sometimes, but please feel free to approach me. I um, am happy to give out my knowledge and experience and help you. Fantastic. Don't think of us as a council of salespeople. We're <laughs> right. right. Exactly right. We're just a whole bunch of love bunnies. That's we what I said. are. <laughs> yep. A whole bunch of love bunnies. Okay. Let's recap really quick. The tips super quick. We're going to go round Robin tips. Angel, what were they? Two of them. You had two. What were they? Say Kindness, it. especially for yourself and everything that you do in excitement, everything big and small. Good. Julie. Uh, two things. What you put your attention on grows stronger in your life. And when faced with a choice, a decision or opportunity, always choose in favor of your passions. Awesome. Nadia. Two things. Um, create little pleasure for yourself every day and accept the way you are because the women are beautiful no matter how they look and uh, what age they are. We are goddess. We are goddesses. Yes, Kat. Keep it simple. Keep it simple and build on those things that you do so that you are stepping up every time. And the one thing I didn't mention before, if you get off track, don't give up. Just get back on track, be consistent, but keep it simple and build on what you started. You know what, two things, Kat, I have a, a chat, a, one of my cooking classes, I call it keep it simple sister. And it's all about detoxing and <laughs> we keep it simple. And you're one meal away from getting back on the wagon. You're one yes. meal away. Exactly. And, and you know, just breathe. <laughs> I know I've been saying <laughs> that, but I, you just breathe in, out. I just, from from the bottoms to the tops to the middle to our entire hearts of the entire council of experts from those of us who are here to those of us who couldn't be present today we love you we believe in you and we know that we can make you we can help you make 2021 one of your best years ever do you all agree you all agree <laughs> Happy, happy new year, everybody. Happy new year. And until next month, until next month, have an amazing, amazing day. Have an amazing life. And we'll see you soon. Oh, and remember to join Julie and Angel's class this Sunday. Talk to you soon. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. Talk to